Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Today I have my Instant Pot out because I want to show you how to make an easy baked potato soup with all of the flavors that you know and love inside of a baked potato. And I'm turning it into a soup. All right, I've had my Instant Pot for over a year now and I have made many, many dishes in it for my family that we love. All right, if you're interested in seeing any of them, I will link my playlist for my Instant Pot dishes down in the description box down below. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started and what I want to do is show you the ingredients first and then we're going to put it all together. All right, so we're going to start with four cups of chicken broth. We've got one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and then we're going to be using one teaspoon of garlic minced one cup of heavy cream, four tablespoons of butter. We're gonna mint, well, we're actually gonna dice up one onion here. Now, I've got seven medium-sized Yukon potatoes. I've got a bag of cheddar cheese here. Now, this is just for the garnish at the end. These bacon bits are a garnish at the end, and then the chives here are at the end. Now I've got a quarter cup of some cream cheese with chai flavor in it, and that's gonna go into the soup. I'm gonna show you that. Now, if we need to thicken up the soup, we're going to use just one tablespoon of cornstarch. All right, so I washed my potatoes and dried them off. Now I'm using my chopper here. All right, so it's got a big blade there, about a little bit bigger than a dice size. So I'm just going to take my potatoes here and then just cut them to the size of the blade here. Then you're just going to put them on there just like that. Now I'm going to show you the pea sizes in there. All right. So they look like that there. That's what we're going to be using. So if you're going to cut these by hand, then you can do that also, just like that. I got a lot of potatoes to chop, so I just want to get them done. <laughs> now if you like this chopper, I have it listed below in my description box. It's from Amazon, and it'll, um, I'll have a link down there to show you what it is. Alright, now you can see it filled up that whole container right there. So what I'm going to do now is put this into my Instant Pot. I'm going to go ahead and take my lid off. Take the rack out. I'm not going to need the rack today. I'm going to add all of the potatoes in there. Then I'm going to dice up my onion and put that in there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and change out the blade on my chopper. I'm just going to use a knife and just kind of pop it out. And then I'm going to put in a smaller one to dice my onion with. So it just goes in there like that. All right, I've got my onion here. I'm just going to take off the ends. Peel the outer layer off. I'm just going to cut it into fours. Now if you want to dice it by hand, that's totally fine. Alright, I'm going to open up my dicer here. I'll just do one. See how fast that is? All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna add that to my potatoes. All right, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of garlic. Whatever flavor you want in your potato soup. All right, one teaspoon of salt. We got a lot of potatoes in there, so we wanna season them good. And one teaspoon of pepper. Now I'm going to take my four tablespoons of butter 
and then just place that right on top right up in there all right I'm going to add my four cups of chicken stock now we're not going to mix anything all right we just want to make sure that the potatoes and the onions are fully covered which as you can see in there they are fully covered that's good I'm just leave the butter right there we're going to put our lid on it and then we're going to get ready to cook these potatoes well did you hear it sing that's a good thing all right so it's on now we're going to lock it there we go all right another sing <laughs> All right, on the back of the unit we have, let me bring you a little closer, a knob back here, right there. And you got venting and you got sealing on the back end. So we're gonna put it on sealing because we want all the pressure to stay inside. All right, on the front of your unit, you've got a pressure cooker button right here. We're gonna go ahead and press that. Now, you've got a minus and a plus sign and this is for your time. And so we're gonna take it down to five minutes. All right, y'all, when the five minutes is up, we're gonna do a quick release on this. I'm gonna be back and show you the next steps to finish this soup off. So it took about five minutes to come up to pressure, and then it's gonna take five minutes to cook before we do the quick release. Now, tell me out there, any one of you who got an Instant Pot for Christmas, or maybe you bought one during the sales, let me know. And let me know what you wanna cook in your new Instant Pot. If you already had an Instant Pot out there, let me know how you like your Instant Pot. All right, so now I've just got a few things that I'm gonna put into a bowl here, and this is gonna be that creamy yumminess that we're gonna put into the potato soup. Oh yeah. And we are going to start off with some cream cheese. Now I'm using the whipped cream cheese because it will mix easier, all right? Now this is a chive flavor. So it's gonna give it a little more oniony flavor, so that's gonna be really good in there. Now, if you don't want that, you can just use the regular one. All right, one third cup, I'm gonna put into just a small bowl here. This is gonna give it some great flavor. I'm not kidding. Mm. All right, put that in there. Now, I'm gonna put in one cup of some heavy cream. All right, I'm gonna put that in there. All right, now I'm going to put in one tablespoon of cornstarch. That's gonna be our thickener. And then just gonna kind of sprinkle it in there. There we go. Now you're just gonna take a whisk and then we're gonna whisk it all together. Go slow with it. So you get a nice smooth consistency there. That's why you should use the um, whipped, and that's what it is right there, whipped cream cheese because it's very fluffy already and it makes it really easy to stir together. There we go. Mm. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to put that in the soup. All right, so our soup is now done. It did the countdown for five minutes. What we're gonna do is a quick release. So the knob on the back of the unit is on sealing. We're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take a wooden spoon and I'm gonna push it over to venting and let it do all of its release of the steam. All right, now all we're doing is we're waiting for all of the steam to be released from inside of the unit. Don't be too fast with it, y'all. Just take your time with it. Now there's a pin right there on the point to it. Now that needs to drop also before we open the lid to our unit. All right, so our pin just dropped. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead now and cancel. And then I'm going to put it on the saute mode. We're gonna release the lid. Oh, it smells so delicious in there. 
All right, I'm going to get my wooden spoon here and stir this around. I'm going to check the potatoes and see how done they are. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, I'm going to try one of the potatoes and see how it's doing. Oh, the fork went right through it. They still kept their shape. I'm going to go ahead and taste one and make sure that the texture is perfect. Yep, it is perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and remember that cream cheese mixture that we made. We're going to go ahead and add that to our soup. And that cornstarch will help thicken it up. Mmm. We're going to give it a taste before we turn it off and make sure that we're seasoned well. Alright, grab a towel at this point to hold your sleeve of your instant pot there because it's kind of hot. <laughs> And that'll keep it from spinning around too. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, I'm gonna get a spoon here. See if we need to add any more salt and pepper. Oh, that is very delicious. I think we're good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mash some of those potatoes up. All right, just to give it some more texture. Just some of them. Probably do it about I don't know, six, seven times. Bring it up and look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. I'm ready to bowl this up. We're going to turn this into a baked potato soup by putting our favorite toppings that we like on a baked potato on top of the soup. Go ahead and turn your Instant Pot off, and we're done. All right, does that look delicious? All right, I'm gonna add some bacon. If you wanna make your own bacon, that's fine. Like I said, this was an easy soup, so that's what I'm gonna make it. There we go. I'm gonna put some cheese right across it. Cheddar cheese or any kind of cheese. I am using this Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. And it's got a nice shred to it, like that right there. So go ahead and put that on there. That. And then I'm going to sprinkle on some chives. There we go. Instant Pot. Baked potato soup. What do y'all think? It looks delicious, and I'm ready to go in and take a bite for you. Mm. Oh my gosh, I think I just tasted a bite of a baked potato loaded. Mm. The potato was very creamy. It held its texture. Now, I used those Yukon potatoes, all right? They hold their texture, their shape, but they get creamy on the inside and so delicious. All right, y'all. What do you want on your loaded baked potato soup from the Instant Pot? If you have a favorite recipe that you like to make in your Instant Pot, let me know. If it's not in my playlist, I'll be making it, all right? So, all right, comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my Instant Pot show today. I'll see you on the next one.